So it's me, your little boy, Kisamsil. I have something special for us today. You know, you won't believe what they are going through. <laughs> you won't believe what a lot of people are going through because of the fact that God is blessing you. <laughs> hey, God, uh, let me tell you two things. You, 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 you won't believe, and you have no idea how many people out there who are secretly annoyed, who are secretly frustrated, who are secretly, you know, devastated because God keep blessing you, not them. You know, there are some people who never believe that one day you will be blessed. <laughs> Let me be real with you. It may sound funny. But that is just the fact. There are a lot of people out there who never believe that you will one day be blessed. There are a lot of people particularly out there who never believe that one day you will be extraordinary or blessed beyond their expectation. <laughs> when the Bible says the expectations of the source of God will not be cut short, let me tell you, there are a lot of people who have been waiting for your expectation. To be cut short. There are a lot of people who have been waiting to see you end up in mystery. There are a lot of people who have been waiting to see you end up, you know, in frustration. There are a lot of people who have been waiting to see you end up in what, in, in, in a way that they will rejoice over you. But believe me, God disappoint them. That is why majority of them right now are filled with frustration. That is why majority of them right now are filled with humiliation. Because what they never believe is exactly what they are seeing. What they never pray for, what they never seek for, what they never have in mind, is exactly what they are seeing right now. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people never believe that you will say. Majority of people up there, believe me, majority of them never believe one day that you will extraordinary, marvelously say. They never believe it. That is why sometimes some of them, if they see you, they will be smiling. But deep inside them, they are shocked. That is why sometimes when they see you, some of them will feel like, we love you, we like you. But believe me, deep inside them, within them, you have no idea what they are going through. You have no idea what majority of people out there are, are going through every blessed day. You have no idea. Because many of them are wondering, how come this guy keeps succeeding? How come God keeps blessing him? How come God keeps elevating him? You may be thinking that they are not aware about your sources. They are not aware about your miracle. They are not aware about your progress. They are not aware about your breakthrough. They are not aware about your lifting up. They are not aware about your 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 divine word touch. They are not aware about the things and the deeds that God is doing. But believe me, they are accurately extraordinary aware of everything. They are aware of every single thing which you are going through. They are watching you. But, the, but what shocked them is that God keeps blessing you, which they never expect to see you blessed. They never expect to see you essay. They never expect to see you succeed. So, your blessing, the blessing of God upon your life is the main reason why a lot of people are, some of us will be thinking, ah, it's because we are looking good. It's because we are hardworking. It's because we are faithful to God. It's because we are too, we are, we are too, 
trust we trust god we are we are not depending on them we are yes all those ones count but some of the main reason why they hate you is because god refused to fail you it's because god refused to give up upon you it's because god refused to let you go it's because god refused to allow their wickedness come to pass because God refused to allow their evil come to accomplished in your life. So all these things are the main reason why they hate you mostly. All these things are the main reason why they will never in their entire life love you. You know what I'm saying? So they will never love you as long as God is blessing you being young there with the expectation as long as God is blessing you being young there would they believe you have no idea what a lot of people up there are absolutely passing through you have no idea but God in his own divine intervention disappoint or disappoint them you got what I'm saying God in his own divine intervention disappoint your enemies because many of them their main target their main aim was never to see what they are seeing around you was never to see what they are seeing around you you know what I'm saying so everything is shocking majority of people out there everything is automatically shocking them god disappoint them you know what i'm saying and that is why they are unhappy remember blessed